We're Evan and Caitlin, and I don't really know how to say this, but we're kind of a big deal. People know us, and our garage smells of rich walnut plywood. We made a lamp. It's made of bits of real lamp, and it turns on 60% of the time, all the time. I love lamp. I love lamp. We're gonna 3D print the frame, wrap it in copper tape, and then attach wood panels. So we're gonna go see if we can find some really thin eighth inch wood. Thick enough that it's substantial, but we don't want to waste good wood. We're gonna see what we can find in the scrap wood pile. So I know software isn't the most exciting thing, but I want to share one aspect of this that I thought was kind of neat. What I did for the first time is use a variable. And what that allows me to do is input the variable instead of units and change the facets really easily. If I want five facets, boom, five facets. Six facets, boom, six facets. So it was just kind of a neat thing. As many facets as you want. Before we printed the full 24 hour print or more, <laughs> We thought we would do a test fit. One, we're gonna see how thick the walls are and how the tape looks. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> You're making fun of my fat thumbs. <laughs> Pretty cool. Yeah. And two, we want this to go through the hole. This is like lamp thread or something. And, <laughs> no, it's, it's called like lamp thread. I want a hole at the top of the lamp so that I can adjust the height of this. Nope, 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 nope. Yeah! Yay! The test looked good, so we printed the full thing. 24 hours later. Oh man, I don't wanna... Ugh! Oh! This was so much better. <laughs> You're right! <laughs> Let's take this out to the garage and uh, see how this goes together. Kinda yeah, looks like a lamp already, which is cool. Oh, <laughs> It's time to cut the template and see if it fits in here. And if it fits, we cut. Spray adhesive. Spray adhesive. So in order to print without supports, I chamfered this angle, but that means that I need to chamfer this too. So we're gonna add the chamfer and keep on going until it works. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh no. I tried to do that dramatically, but safely too. <laughs> I think that looks pretty good. Before we go any further here, we should probably finish applying all the copper tape. Mm, yes, okay, logic. Right. Let's take these out and wrap. Wooka wooka wooka, wrap, 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 wrap. That's how you wrap. <laughs> <laughs> Should we do the wood panels? One thing we didn't account for is how we're gonna get this out of this. Wah, wah. It no longer sits flat. <laughs> if we don't want to reprint the whole thing for us, we're just going to make a little fix just for this one. But we're going to fix it for you guys in the final model. So how are we going to fix it? Are we going to drill through the plastic? Ooh. 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 
Yeah, I think just have it coming out one of these panels. We'll just drill a small little hole. <sighs> Ooh, and then we can 3D print a little thing to make it look official. Then goes Mega Man Blaster. <laughs> so now we're gonna wire the lamp. These are all pieces of a standard lamp kit. Put this base piece down over your wire. See these two wires? You wanna give them both a little U turn loop. Next, loop the two wires around the two screws, making sure that you loop them clockwise so that when you tighten the screws, it pulls the wires tighter. Human clamp. <laughs> uh, clamping this is kind of tough. We tried rubber bands, those failed. Hmm. We tried painter's tape, that failed. This isn't sticking in any way. We ended up using electrical tape and panicking a lot. Oh god. <laughs> this is actually working really well. Yeah, it actually is. What? This tape left like a really <gasps> bad residue. Oh no! Just, let's just unwrap it. Oh no, it, it... Oh, it comes off? <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag black hole lamp drama. <laughs> Alright, well at least we didn't mess up anything permanently. I hope. <laughs> let, let, let's buff this out a little bit. I have a thing where it's like, we tried rubber bands, that didn't work. We tried blue tape, that was terrible. Then we tried electrical tape, it worked really well. Then we gotta cut and be like, it didn't work well. It didn't work well. Hey, better than before. Alright, final two things. One, light bulb. It's not on, right? Oh, oh no! <laughs> oh wait, no, 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 you need to take that out. That goes over this. Oh. I got it. Oh, oh, it looks so good. It's so legit. It looks really good. I love lamps. It looks really awesome. Okay, I have to see it from over here. Right. Should we get some uh, cool after shots? Yeah. <laughs> well, it is done. <laughs> <laughs> the main difficult part was clamping it all together. All we'll do differently is clamp it in place with painter's tape and oil it afterwards. Putting the oil on beforehand made it really hard to cinch it all down. We have a link to plans, the model, and the templates to cut out the panels below. And all the all the like lessons we learned the hard way were fixing in the model. We really like combining two different ways of making things, in this case woodworking and 3D printing, to make something unique. So if you have any ideas on how we can combine different materials or techniques of making things, welding and 3D printing or woodworking and secure copy, <laughs> we really want to try it out and try new things. So let us know in the comments below. And if you're a patron, the link to the after show is below. So if you don't know what that is, we basically just sit here and keep talking about <laughs> more stuff that went wrong, things we learned, other behind the scenes stuff that's going on. So if you want to check that out, link below. Thanks for watching and stay classy, YouTube. <laughs> no, you can't laugh. <laughs> Juby, you know I don't speak Spanish. My mustache is peeling off. Da, 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 da. It's really low. That was oh my bad. God. That was so derpy. We can just get a longer rod. A nice beefy rod. <laughs> 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 making community is going to laugh at us! <laughs> Sorry, no. fall down on the, the, the left side right there. It's, it, it's lowering on one side. Is that better? <laughs> I'm normal, I'm so normal. <laughs>